Tommy Shuttleworth, a big save. Ensuing corner, Buxa is there, and New England have pulled one back. It's their big man up top, Adam Buxa. And just like that, the lead is halved. What a response from Bruce Arena's man after going down 2-0. A few minutes later to make it 2-1. But it was a rambunctious start as this one knocked across and it's 2-2! This time it's Gustavo Bo and the Revs have leveled things up here at Soldier Field. Oh, Gustavo Bo finds a, a bit of space here in behind the back four. Tejan Buchanan had gone over to that right-hand side of the field. Polster was getting pulled back and is having a word with the referee. Farrell trying to spray a wide, finds Hill, great touch to the inside, Carlos Hill. Brandon By, and now it's one nothing. Brandon By with his first goal of the year. The Reds with an all-out assault on the Atlanta goal, and it finally pays off. Career five for seven from the spot, regular season and playoffs combined. Guzan. 22 for 29 in his MLS career. The left footer with the run up the stutter step. Makes it 2-1 New England. Carlos Hill with his first goal of the year. And the Reds are back in front. Some later. Here's Bunbury. Hill. Jones on the run. Attempt to tackle block. Jones. Quick shot. Bunbury and he scores. New England has taken the lead in the 85th minute. Teal Bunbury has silenced the crowd. If there is to be a new look for New England Revolution. One assumes it would be in tandem with a, a move to a new stadium. In towards Fuxa! Just introduced. Just on the spot. Just in time. And maybe... He has fired the starting gun on what will turn out to be a New England Revolution victory. It, it's, it's a difficult, really difficult scenario for Rebels, and you can see these players, they care about Aaron Long. Oh, good ball for Bo. He's in, behind Nealis, in on the keeper, and ties the game! La Patera buries it, and the Reds are back on level terms. Revs have found much more of a rhythm as this uh, has opened up with, uh, the man advantage. But even before that, Charlie, they, they were growing into the game, figuring out, okay, we have to play direct and then get into the attacking half. Nice move by Tejon. Gets to the byline. Goes. The, oh, wow! How did he bury that from the tightest of angles? Tejon goes to the left side, scores with the right foot, and the Revs have taken the lead just before halftime. Tracked by Bumper, gets a cross in, away by Polster, not clear. Now McNamara lets it settle. Plays the feet of Gustavo Bo. Centrally goes to Heel. Terrific touch and a great lead pass. Here's the break. Gustavo Bo looking for a second goal. In on goal. Goes for Buxa. It's 3-1. What a great team goal by the New England Revolution. Heel to Bo to Buxa. And the Revs are in firm command in Foxborough. Sends it into the box. Headed down and beats Vermeer. Adam Buxa finds the header and New England jumps ahead in the 70th minute. Dewan Jones working on Anton Tenerholm. Puts it up and over Tristesen. And all the full volley and it's in. What a strike by Gustavo Bo. And New England takes the lead one to nothing. Now, Dewan Jones pushes it wide right. Tip the head. Books not trying to get to it. But it's the trailer who buries it. And New England goes back in front. Two to one, and it's the center back, John Bell, who gets forward and gets his first MLS goal. And New England has the lead. The reason for that is they said they were afraid too many teams would say, we'll go back and look at the first one. He shouldn't have gotten it in the first place. But now across in front, and it's buried. Tommy McNamara, the former New York City player, on a cross by Tejon Buchanan. 
And in the 88th minute, New England has gone back in front. Feel unable to get free Amaya with the harrying work. Dewan, his pass didn't get through, but then it bounces for Carlos Heel. He stabs it in. Tejon's in, and he scores. The Rams take the lead. Again, the door unlocked by Carlos Heel. Tejon makes no mistake with his finish, and the Rams are in front at home. New England, New England at its finest. Ooh, big collision there. Jones running into Duncan. The Revs still have it. Heel splits the defense. Dewan's up. Nice move. Shoots. Goes near post and doubles the Revs lead. What a goal. Dewan bounce back ability and he has a goal. Right footed delivery. Outswing ball. Again, Neil is able to get free. Not a good header. Spun forward by Heel. Finds Bo, clean first touch, he's in behind, racing back, Duncan giving chase. Gustavo Bo, in on the keeper, stabs it in! 3-0 New England! The Reds run away with it! The, the ceiling on this guy, Justin Che, is, is, is sky high. But look at this, they, they can trust him as a wing back, outside back, center back. Got a cross coming in right now, Gustavo Bo! With one touch off that cross to level the game. Or did that not that it is in it's, it's a goal yep jones taking on apple jones driving for the byline <laughs> lovely cross and it's in and the revolution have signaled their intent to ruin the party here it's tejon buchanan he's about to leave for national team duty with canada Jones, who's cross set up this man Buchanan, who has a lot of space, room to roam for Tejon Buchanan, and it is 2 0 New England. Gustavo Ball doubling the pain for the Columbus crew, and it was oh so easy for the visitors. You can really tell a story while just inside the top of the box. Two good candidates for the Revs right here. Their leading scorer and their leading assist man. It will be Heel. Oh, he beats the keeper. Worldy from Carlos Heel. And that brings the crowd back into it. And in all likelihood, the Revs back into this game. That was a work of art, Charlie Davis. Heel, who has the Revs goal, inside to Bo. Top of the box. Trying to trick his way through. Now McNamara looking to free himself on the dribble. Takes a barge. Spins back. Has Boateng. Time for a centering pass. Curled in. Headed down. And it's 3-2. Buxa buries it. Game back on. Oh, these two teams uh, met up at Gillette Stadium back in May with the refs prevailing 2-1. They're on the move here. Buxa slips, but he's recovered and teed up ball. For the revolution, it's the B team, Buxa and Bo at it again. And the misery piles on for Gabriel Einza and Atlanta United. Kind of feel for Figal, right? Because there was that warning a moment ago, but that was to Gonzalez Pires. The ball is floated in. Oh, post! And there's the opening goal for the New England Revolution. A quarter of an hour in, Arnor Tristensen has broken the deadlock. And it's the player that I've told you people to watch out for, Callis Gill, that presents an absolute diamond of a pass. Take Devil take the hindmost and tries to go between the two players. Looked like a foul. The referee didn't see it. Look out. Matuidi exasperated after not getting the call. Here's Bunbury now for New England. Teal Bunbury on his right. He's looking for an opening. Callis Hill. Squared back. Saved by Marsman. And put back in by Bunbury. It's a second for the Revolution. Well, revs by name and revved up by nature after less than a half an hour. It's 2 0 to the visitors. Lifted in toward the penalty spot, pinging loose in the box. There's still a chance here for Tristan Son! And he's got a second for New England. Well, it's just raining goals now, and this ball has a chance to be cleared anyway by the white shirts but they kind of make contact on it and they're playing from memory new england and that despite six changes in the starting 11. it's lovely work by tristison who's on a hat trick 
Bunbury. Hill. It's a dangerous man of the box. Catalyst Hill. Trying to turn Christian McCoon. Hill looking to pull it back in the air. And it's a fourth for New England. Unmarked at the near post. Meanwhile, Gustavo Paul getting forward. That's a lovely pass for Buxa, looking to make it five. Is Buxa 1v1 against Marsman? And he makes no mistake. It's five for New England. And in this snake bitten season of Inter Miami, that last 30 seconds just about sums it up. Now here's Hill. Buxa. Follow up ball one by Polster. No foul. Here come the Reds. Gustavo Bo, driven, shot all off the crossbar and in. What a blistering drive from La Pantera. And this time it is definitely Charlie Davies. 1-0 New England. Maciel head up. Three revs calling for it. Maciel inside out ball right to Carlos Hill. Has a charging run from Bay and plays him. Brandon Bay cuts it back. Bo drives it and makes it 2-0 New England. The goal's flowing on Paul Mariner night. La Pantera again. On the double. Tristison does well. Dewan Jones able to square that. Here's Bo. Fires and scores. Tie game. A man who can crack him in MLS with the best of them levels this match at one his 10th goal of the season Carl Essiel floats it across and there's your tying goal New England levels the match by in the danger area it's 2-2 five minutes stoppage time This ball takes a deflection, dangerously to Hill. Buxa puts it in the back of the net. Adam Buxa with the go-ahead goal in stoppage time. The Revolution have the lead for the first time tonight. Maciel moves it quickly, Polster. Matt Polster. We'll give it go. McNamara pulls up, makes it one nothing. The midfield combines to break down Philly in just what the Reds needed, an early goal. Blake is beaten. The fans on their feet in Foxborough. That have the best chance of saving pens, it's these two. Yep. Matt Turner and Andre yeah. Blake. Yep, they're so quick. You see he's uh, 10 for 11 in his career outside of MLS to run up. Little stutter, step, save, follow up, buried, 2-1. La Pantera, second bite at the apple, and it crunches. They all count. On back by Brandon Bay. He's got support from Buxer. This time it's across there towards Gustavo Ball. Juan Jones coming forward down that left side. Jones again, and a good header from Buchanan, Tejon Buchanan, the boy from Brampton, the Canadian international, scores on his first appearance at Bebo Field. Gustavo Bo has taken one penalty this season and he missed it. It's Bo against Bono, Gustavo Bo puts that one into the corner to give New England revolution the lead just minutes after TFC had tied it up and Gustavo Bo with a league leading 12th goal of the season it's never going to be the same exact thing as training but training prepares you for moments and instances in the game like, I've been there I know exactly where this player is going to be Boateng stands up across oh or just over the head of Buchanan second phase now Laid off, McNamara deflected it in. The Rams have leveled. It's a brand new New England revolution to start the second half. Tommy McNamara, the second wave of attack, and the Reds are on level terms. Martins stripped by Bo. Heady play by the Argentinian. Cuts the ball back. 
Great dribbling skill and a nice pass into space. Flowing the Reds. Boateng stands it up. Buchanan. Wow! 2 1. The Reds. Red. All of a sudden, it's a completely different paint job on this game, Charlie. Dewan's on it. Well, that was just a tired clearance from Medoya Chen. Now Buchanan. Oh! Shout for him, ball not given. Boateng crashes through now. Jones rolling hard and in. 3 1. Look at that. Dewan. It's a team effort, Charlie, and this is a team that believes in each other right now. And so you have to continue to put the pressure on the back line so that they do play it back and you regain possession. Kessler continuing his run. Nosebleed territory for the center back, gets the bottom, puts a cross in, it's open, Tejon scores again! Tejon Buchanan with his sixth of the year, and the Reds had that early goal that Napo was talking about. Bruce Arena, this time his guys with a very good start. Boisterous crowd, nice dummy there, it was actually a heel flick from Bo. And then boots a finds Buchanan, B to B to B. Tejon, cross, Bo! And you have to give credit to the players, certainly, but to the leader, uh, Bruce Arena. Oh, now here's Buxa. Maybe another break for him. Leaves the ball behind. Ryasia couldn't win it. Boateng, another centering opportunity. Buxa on the turn. Sees the goal. Falls down. Gets up. Weaves in. And makes it 3-0. It's almost too easy for the Reds right now. Adam Buxa, his ninth goal of the year. The Reds, third goal of the night. And a lot for the fans to cheer about in Foxborough in this opening half here. Here's Caldwell, Bo, has a nose for goal this one, centering pass and it's four, Buxa buries it, the B to B strike pairing, paying off again for the Reds who have retaken a three goal lead here in Foxborough, fans are into it.